How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. <laughs> no shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? Alex, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. You weren't? Julie, what does that mean? Well, we almost just got ourselves killed, and then suddenly out of nowhere, you pop the question. Okay, I got you. But, uh, I guess I st still don't really understand. If it wasn't such a, uh, intense situation, would your answer have been any different? I think so. Yeah, I, I, th I think I just... I got surprised, and I'm so sorry I ruined it. No, you didn't. I'm the one who's sorry. I thought that was it. The end of a relationship. I didn't mean to ruin your big moment. It's okay, really. How about I make it up to you in your bathing suit area? I know you're trying to be sexy, but that just seems predatory. <laughs> I'll let you catch my predator. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Anything you want. Uh, where's everybody else? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? 
It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. What does it even matter? You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Yeah, marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10 <laughs> 4, good buddy. And I'm out.
Me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Get untied, like now. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Deep 
stick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. see what they want to do with us. got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, also. Ferme-la 
ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule Olsen Come here Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! You know what I like to hear? Nothing. That's right. Nada. Complete fucking silence. Get it? Hey, bud, we are going to talk and that we are going to keep talking, and that we might talk a little more. So you know what? Get used to it. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey! Leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Do you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Luke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Down there, he could drown. 
We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Oh. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone, independent, admirable, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Floating death trap. <gasps> Bob! 
Ding. not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. fucking place. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. So what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? Well, technically, there are emergency procedures, but this is such an extreme case that... Oh, you were kidding. Now, I knew that. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Well, typically, a distributor cap is designed to distribute voltage from the coil to the correct rotor, which in turn... It's an essential part of the engine. We're not taking the Duke of Milan anywhere without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Hey, keep 
Keep your eyes peeled for another uh, opportunity. You feel me? What do you think this ship was? Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on, Alex? a bona fide ghost ship. I wonder why this was ripped off. It open. Freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. Want me to just smash through this wall? No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. I'm the reason she got snagged. Yep, gotta get her. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. <sighs> Shit. You're right. Mystery of the smelling. Where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. 
How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? What is this place? Engine room? Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back before we're gonna get out of here. This is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party.
Ok. Qui est là Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Why do I need to see this now? been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Well, you know, if we were gonna get married, I might have shared some of my culinary skills with you, but... Just stop. this place. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? I didn't hear
What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you... I mean, did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's got to be. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and... then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. What's the matter? What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time to lose. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? Any medicine we find in here is... Still might have some kick. Four years of med school and you prescribe me an 80-year-old aspirin and call me in the morning? That's not gonna make him sick, is it? No time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, 
What the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? gone on ahead. Connie! Shh, shh, quiet. I can shout if I want. Connie! Where the hell did he go? Fucking place is cursed. Come on. What was that noise? What noise? Olsen! I think he's blown a fuse. Huh? Have we been here before? Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about.
What do you think happened to this guy? Face looking like that. I don't know. Looks like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Was it Bordell? just happened? I don't know. Hey, what? Come on, we should keep moving. We need to find a way up on deck. <sighs> that can't be a good sign. Are you sure you know where we're going? Fliss? Uh, Fliss? Hello? Fliss? Fliss? Where'd you go?
place is a goddamn labyrinth. Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. Hey. Fliss, hey! Where were you? Absolutely sure. Shut up and keep moving. Yeah. Just keep on moving. Oh. <sighs> 
So now what? Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no! this. 